coaching a game like this, it was comparing it to Tuesday night. There were some places where you were better. Where do you see that you were better in this game tonight? If you look at the uh, box score sheet, we kind of won in every statistical category. Um, I think our Achilles Hill, uh, the last three games, has definitely been our free throws, and it's been nothing different from today. You know, I think 7 for 14, they were 17 for 21, so they made more free throws than we have even shot. You know, the point differential just from the free throw line was uh, huge. Game one, it kind of was our problem. We didn't want to focus too much on a game two. You know, we kind of put a little bit more emphasis. Now it's three games in a row, so, like, we got to do something about it. At the end of the day, we're professionals. We can't shoot 50% from the free throw line and beat anybody. So we just got to be better. We got to be professional. That's what we're here for. Got to take our jobs serious, and we got to make free throws. The other part of the offense, how did you feel that that went for you tonight? Well, we shot over 50% from the floor. We shot over 40% from the three-point line. So we felt like the offense was good. Um, even us getting to the free throw lines at the times we did, we felt like it was the right thing to do in our offense. But we just didn't capitalize on making free throws, especially down the stretch. We had some careless turnovers, too many breakdowns on defense. Like We got a lot of things to fix and switch to be able to get over this hump. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. And we'll look to see you on Tuesday night. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Well, Michael, you were able to achieve number one marksman from the three-point line in Skyforce history. It, once you got closer, did it seem like you wanted to get it over with quick? Or, or did, you, you know, did you want to have the game flow to you and, and just have it naturally happen? Yeah, I'll be honest. I didn't think about it too much. Um, you know, I figured it would naturally happen over time. Um, I've been fortunate um, in a really good position here over the last two seasons that I've played here that um, I have great teammates, um, a great coaching staff that's put me in a position to be able to do that. So um, I knew that naturally just playing the games, it would come over time, and uh, I was happy to be able to do it on our home floor for sure. Earlier in the season, you struggled just a little bit, but you have really caught fire since since the beginning of January. Has there been a, a, a minor change or a major change that has allowed that to happen? Not really. I just think it's rhythm. Um, you know, early in the season, guys are still getting used to playing together. Um, we're still getting our sets right. Um, you're coming out of the off season, and uh, I think my shot selection just wasn't as good at the beginning of the year. Um, but we've really honed in on our offense and, and been able to execute a lot better over the last uh, few weeks at least, but probably over the last month and a half. Um, and we've been getting really good looks, so I think that's been something that's been helpful. To be number one on a list like that, what does it mean for you as a personal accomplishment and then also to, to, to be able to showcase that for the city of Sioux Falls? Absolutely. Um, that's an honor to me. Um, you know, Sioux Falls, everyone around here knows I love Sioux Falls. I love, um, you know, I love this organization. Uh, I love the community. They've been super supportive the entire time I've played here. Um, you know, like I said, great coaching staff, everyone involved with the organization. Um, I'm really thankful to be here and be around these guys. So um, it's an honor to be on that list and, and to be able to do that. Um, you know, I want to just want to continue to move forward. And uh, I think as a group, as, as time goes on and we, we continue to grow, you know, we'll find more successes throughout the season. All right. Thanks, Michael. And congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you love Sioux Falls Skyforce basketball, please support this channel by liking, subscribing and commenting.